Hey man, this is Mr. Pogo. Uh, this is my thoughts on what happened with the Mike Levy thing. Uh, quite frankly, I downloaded the King of the Deathmatch tournament, the Queen of the Deathmatch combo pack. I had no idea there was even an incident. I guess that shows you how much I pay attention to U.S. wrestling these days. Maybe not so much U.S. wrestling as opposed to the IWA. I mean, the IWA obviously has their problems because there's only about 30 people in the crowd. I, I heard that they were in financial trouble trouble and that they were going to be closed down. I mean, I couldn't think of anything better to happen at this point because it's obvious that they're not really putting anything anybody wants to watch. I mean, for Ian Rotten, I mean, for what happened, uh, Ian Rotten, for him to say, you know, uh, learn how to work and, you know, if that, maybe that was Tank, I apologize, but um, Ian Rotten, them out there telling this kid that he can't work and, you know, he can't do this and that, and uh, it's, just, it's just ridiculous because Ian Rotten would not have a job. If it wasn't for the IWA Mid South and the fact that he owns it, um, I believe Madman Pondo in a shoot interview was talking about how Ian Rotten's burned like every bridge. He even burned a bridge in uh, CZW, and uh, countless people talk about what an idiot John Zandig is. And even John Zandig won't use Ian Rotten. So, so that goes to show you, you know, the quality of people you're dealing with. Uh, you know. People talk about you know publicity for the IWA. This is, I don't I don't think this is really the right publicity. But I know bad publicity, any publicity is good publicity. But this is not uh, this is not something that people I think are looking at as as a good thing. You know, that people are you know people are going to be you know, going to rally behind the IWA. You know, people are going to buy tickets just because they they beat up some kid. You know, it's it's that's, that's absolutely ridiculous. You know. Actually, I saw a post on there. Someone was saying about them chanting ECW. Actually, the funny thing is they were chanting CZW. There was more. There was much of a CZW chant going on with the entire uh, tournament, both of them actually, than there was even like an IWA thing, IWA chant. Excuse me. So, I mean, that, that goes to show you that more people. I'm sure most seem like most of the people, some for some reason, travel from the East Coast to go all the way out to Indiana to see this. You know, my hat's off to him because I wouldn't have done it, but I mean, I live in Virginia. I don't live very far from Philadelphia, really. And, you know, I'd go to Philadelphia for a CZW show. I don't know that I'd go to, to Indiana for, you know, to sit in a parking lot of a bowling alley. I mean, I understand they lost their building or something, but I mean, it's just a sad state of affairs when that's where you're, you know, that's where, that's where you're holding your card, you know. You know, out there next to the dumpster. I mean, it's 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 just it's just ridiculous. But as a wrestling fan, the whole incident made me mad. I, I was, I you know, what I was. Uh, I said I didn't even know anything about it or download. I was like, what? You know, I was like, oh, I was kind of curious, I guess, because I was hearing different things. But it was just, I don't know, the kid, the kid. I mean, if you watch the tape, but I thought I mean, you wound, you know, rounded it back several times at the beginning of the match. They say, oh, he stiffed her, he stiffed her, but. You know, it didn't look, it didn't really look like he did anything that he didn't, that didn't happen in, in later on in the match. You know, uh, if it was a work, you know, my hat's off to them. But you know, I, I just, you know, I mean, they were shoot. I mean, and, and this, it was a, I mean, it was a work. I mean, it was supposed to happen in that sense. But you know, they were like, they were you know, shoot hitting this kid. I mean, the, she smashes a light tube across his face. I mean, is that really necessary? You know, I mean, like, not not the Nicky Mickey Knuckles is very is talented. Nicky Knuckles is probably the worst of that fucking of that female roster. Um, if you watch that thing, the the best the best of the of um, God, the, the best of the uh, of the Queen of Deathmatch tournament is Rachel Summerlin and uh, Jesus, the girl she wrestled in the finals, um, Rachel Payne. Could have the name wrong, and uh, the girl that had the shirt says "I love cunt" on it. Oh, that. Um, <laughs> love the shirt, but I mean, it's like, uh, but I mean, there, there were the people, there were people that actually seemed to be there to work and actually seemed to be like what they were, you know, you know, there's something, um, something to be said, not maybe not like what they're doing, but something about the way they were performing that made you think that they, they actually gave a shit about being there, not just the, not just go through the motions and hit people with fucking barbed wire, because as any, you know, as a lot, you know, they will tell you any retard can fall into barbed wire, any retard can go through a table. It takes a real, it takes a real worker to be able to work a match, and that's not working a match. But, that's all I got. Um, anybody's watching this, thanks for watching, uh, you guys have a good